What it do, what it do, it's your boy J Reed. Back at it goddamn again, man. Another video. More chewing for your head top. More chewing for your head top till you get it till you don't stop. Let's get back to this motherfucking shit, man. Uh Red, we're gonna talk about the red pill community. I don't know what the title for it is. I might call it Don't Believe the Red Pill Dating Coaching Dating Coaching Scandals, bro. Those are scams, guys. I, I feel like in my opinion with this uh red pill shit is like with AMS and Steph is Cole and MJ and Anthony Spates and uh some of that message is okay, but the majority of that shit is toximity. It's tech it's toxic masculinity. Uh we're we gonna speak on AMS, man. Uh, alpha male strategy. I ain't gonna lie, I did watch some of his videos early on when he first came in YouTube, maybe around late twenty seventeen or early twenty eighteen. You know, YouTube was pushing this guy. I was like, who the hell is this cat? You know, YouTube was really pushing this man. And, uh, you know, YouTube was pushing the hell out of this guy. And, you know, I was like, okay, who is this guy? And the first couple of messages, I'm like, okay, he, uh, he talking about something, you know? He, he got a point, you know? You know, some of the stuff about women's nature, you know, he was just real raw. You know, I'm like, wow, okay, okay, he got a point. But then he started saying all women are sluts, started overgeneralizing women and talking about women eating his ass. And nothing wrong with it. When he, if he likes that shit, that's cool. Uh, but then he was saying, man, about beta male and alpha male, he kept saying how he's an alpha. And it's like more, he seemed more of a narcissist. But like, I'm like, bro, what, 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 what is this bullshit is about? You know, I, I just feel like it's a lot of sheep mentality. I don't watch his videos no more. I just feel like it just give you a bunch of insecurities. It just it just gives you insecurities. It just shows you these daily clothes are scanned because they always tell you what you're doing wrong. Their, their job is to make you feel insecure so you can rely on them. And I don't like it's, it's, it's some of it is addictive and entertaining. You're like, damn, hold on, wait, wait. But you, 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 it makes you second guess yourself. It makes you think like, damn, like, I mean, you're not good enough. It makes you second guess yourself. It, 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 you, you, you're always like with anxiety talking to a woman or now you got this in the back of your mind. Damn, this bitch trying to play me or, holy oh, shit, this chick out there, this bitch out to get me or, you know, just, holy shit, am I good enough? Am I, you know, it just, it just put a lot of pressure on you as a person. It's like, wait a minute, all women are not like that. And, and, and Anthony, we're going to go to Anthony Spates right quick. Uh, Anthony Spates, for example, he does say, I'm not talking about all women. However, though, it, it, these dating coaches make the guy feel bad. This is all a scam so they can keep you coming back and back so they can pay subscribers. Hey, these brothers are trying to pay you. These guys ain't trying to work. They ain't trying to work no 9 to 5. So they're pushing this narrative about alpha male and beta male. Like, and, and back to AMS, like, how, how do we know what he's saying is real? How do we know this man is not married? And not have kids or whatever. He's saying he's not for marriage. That's beta male. That's simping. You live in a society. We can't do nothing for a woman. You open the door for a woman. They call it simping. You, you, he, he says like you, you know, you can't validate women. I'm like, God damn, you can't do nothing right. And he put pressure on the guy. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, that was my goddamn laundry goddamn thing. I'm like, oh shit, hello. But yeah, he put pressure on the guy like. Bro, you can't do nothing right. Anything in the relationship field, they always blame you. These dating coaches, these gurus. Uh, and then he always says, get on your purpose. I mean, if you're a grown-ass man, you 21 and older, or 20 and older, and you ain't know how to get on your purpose, or get a job and get money, and, you know, do all that shit before you start talking to women, and, you know, if you're 25 and up, and... You still not on your grind trying to get your own spot, your own car, whatever, and you trying to talk to women and your finances or your life ain't together? You need somebody to tell you that? There's something wrong with that shit. And what is this killing your purpose shit? I, I mean, killing your purpose. Dude, I mean, this, this is bullshit. Everybody should know that shit. That ain't nothing that just fall out the fucking sky, hit the gym. And this is another thing about hitting the gym, which is a big lie. Hitting the gym is cool, but guys... If a woman is not attracted to your physical looks with your facial features or how you look facially and how you look, dude, the gym is not going to help you. Of course you should hit the gym. I mean, unless you out five or 600 pounds of fat and sloppy. But guys, I mean, if she's not attracted to the way you look in your face, your facial features or how your face is made up, 
She doesn't want you. So you hitting the gym with a fucking 12 pack or a six pack or whatever the hell that shit is, is goddamn ain't gonna get her to like you. Uh, bruh. I mean, even if you think they get money. I just, and, and this is another thing right here. He, he says, get on your purpose, bullshit. You know, don't love these hoes. You know, don't trust these hoes or whatever. But he's the same one saying he don't love these hoes, but he's fucking the shit out of these hoes. You know, he said he's fucking all these bitches a year. But the downside of all of this, they never say what these dating coaches behind the camera. Anybody can make it look good on YouTube for five, ten, whatever minutes, five minutes or whatever on the video. But we never hear the dark side of living this red pill bullshit all fucking the Matrix about a computer cyberspace that reveals everything to you. The, and this shit is lame, the red spit. But back to this right here. It's saying, fuck all these bitches, don't catch feelings, you know, doll these hoes out, you know, these women are sluts, you know, treat her like a hoe, you know, you can't get married, and put it in this narrative. But it never show you that a lot of these dating coaches are broke, broken hearted. They're lonely at night. Uh, they're, they're never going to have a meaningful relationship. You know, a thousand at flight. One is better than two, guys. So if you're married, you're going to have a better lifestyle. More money coming in. More blessings. More blessings, you know, from Jesus. Like, just just a better lifestyle. Is Two is always better than one. Uh, this is another thing right here. They, they're saying this right here, but, they, but when you're living this lifestyle, this red pill lifestyle, this propaganda that they're pushing, you're more open to diseases, heartbroken, uh, child support, because if you get one of these damn hoes pregnant, you're going to be on child support, or you could be cleared of rape for one of these women, you know, dogging out these bitches, you know, bitches ain't shit, you more you could be prone to rape charge, diseases, no family, broken hearted, and at the end of the day, you end up alone. And then you're creating these guys. You're, you're creating all these millions of guys to live like this. You saying, you know, you can't have no marriage. You know, these women are sluts. You know, you, you know these. I, I'm not saying he's bad, but I'm saying he's not pushing relationships. You know, man, it's for the sleeves ball. You gotta fuck these hoes to sleep. You know, treat them like this. You know, dog them out. You know, you know, get them, get in them guts. You know, Tim and Steph is cold. You know, hit the gym, get in these guts, get all the bitches you can get. But you fail to realize, guys, and they're saying your woman can leave you or whatever because your woman with me, he's saying I can take your bitch. Let me tell you something, guys. And it, let me tell you something, bro. I don't care how cold your game is or how you fit you go to the gym. If you got that mentality, bro, or that insecure mentality or that mentality that my, anybody can take my girl, you got that mentality like that, that, you know, super competitive, this toxic masculinity. Anybody can take ever male girl. I don't care how cool you I don't care if you think you that nigga or how full of your shit, how, how big headed you is or full of yourself or most of these 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 daily cultures are full of shit. Anybody can take your goddamn girl if that's the case, bro. I don't care how tight alpha male game is. People niggas, they can take alpha male bitch. Alpha male ain't shit, bro. AMS stuff is cold, Kevin Sanders, they can take their bitch. Hell, any nigga take their bitch. There's a lot of niggas who out there who got more money than them, more than seven of them, and do whatever. So if they going by that mentality, you know, I'm a high value or this and that and the third, bro, anybody can get your chick. I don't like it. You know, a lot of women out there ain't like There's some good women out there, guys. I don't want y'all to look at this shit and think, man, yes, there's some women out there like that. But the way they put it, they're not pushing for a relationship. They're just saying, dog, these hoes out forever. Alpha male is in his 40s last time I checked. Kevin Samuels in his fucking 50s. And I believe Steph is cold, got a fucking uh, a girlfriend, and he said he ain't never getting married, and he just dogging out these hoes. Man, they just pushing this propaganda, these lies, goddammit, to make money off these, 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 uh, these, these low, these low, these low-minded guys that I once was to to, to build them. They, they're trying to tear these guys' confidence down and say, you know, these women ain't nothing, or you ain't nothing, so you gotta treat them like that because there ain't no good women out there. They're, they're pushing this, you know. You're not pushing uh, healthy relationships. And all this stuff is going to backbite you, bro. You're, you're, you're more prone to catch these things. And, and you got to think. I don't care how tight your game is or whatever the case may be. Excuse me. There are always women out there who got her game is more tight than you, bro. Let me tell you something. Women are just as uh, smart as men is. So I don't care how smart you know the game or know the rules. There's always a woman who could outsmart you and outplay you, bro. So listen to this shit, bro. Come on, bro. 
This is, you, you can't take everything they say like this the gospel of Jesus Christ or the Bible. It, 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 you know these guys, a lot of these guys who listen to these people, like I used to listen to them, these, these, these guys are very shallow people, low-minded, uh, they don't have much confidence to do this and talk to women in the real world, so they get on here, you know, they, they, they try to build this entitlement, or they try to build this this uh, ego, and ego ain't nothing but, uh, ego ain't nothing but a false, is a false sense of, uh, is a false sense of insecurity. That's what the ego is. It's a false sense of insecurity. It's a fake insecurity. It's a mask. You're putting up this front, this wall. That's what an ego is. You're, 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 you're really narcissists. They're egotistical bastards. Uh, and and I, I don't like most, I don't, I don't like the agenda that they're pushing, but I feel like with YouTube, you gotta promote bullshit to make it. And they're just trying to pay their bills. I mean, I see the hustle. They're finding the hustle. They're selling books. They're selling merchandise, sleaze ball. But they're not telling you the downside that, bro, eventually you're going to get old. This game bullshit is going to wear out. Uh, a lot of these women who are fucking them, they're probably paying for ass. They're probably never be. They're going to, they're probably, we don't know what goes behind this camera. We can't take everything for face value off YouTube. They're living this glamorous lifestyle. And a lot of you guys not even built to be like Red Pill. And even if they is, that's them. But guys, you have to be what's you. You have to be what you are. You have to figure out what works for you when you talk to women. Some of their strategies, some stuff that I agree with, but I can't listen to that shit because that shit is poison. That shit is toximity. That shit is, it, it, it causes you to get nauseous and, and it weighs on you. I can't listen to this bullshit, this rhetoric. Guys, some of you not even built to be this red pill bullshit. They get it from the fucking Matrix. Are you serious? From Morpheus holding the pill in front of Neo hand. God, everybody ain't built to be fucking red pill. Everybody ain't act built to be like stuff is cold or or Anthony Spakes or Kevin. Every, a lot of you guys ain't built like that. Y'all y'all think y'all can do this and then y'all act like this and y'all may get the woman that you want, but then she's gonna realize you was a fraud. Because you're you're fraudulent. You are you're a fraud because you're being somebody that you're not, and women are gonna see through that guy. Women can sense when a man is not being his genuine self. They can sense when a man is not being authentic. Authentic. Well, my YouTube channel I'm pushing off, off, authenticity. Intent. We put authenticity. Authentic. And a lot of you guys are not like that. Excuse me. A lot of you guys are not even built like that. And y'all not even wild like that. And y'all trying to be another man. Y'all got to be yourself at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you got to be comfortable in your skin. You got to be comfortable when you walk out the house or you talk to a female. She got to like you for you. And if she don't, oh well. There's plenty of women out there, guys. You know, I gotta have I gotta have this rotation, even which with the city girls. They're pushing this narrative, and I understand it's just music. And I'm not one of those people to say this is rap crap. I understand it's music. But for all these young girls or girls out here who think the city girls or Cardi B or you know, they trying to be like so sweetie or so straighty. They trying to live this lifestyle or whatever the case may be. But y'all not some of y'all not built like that, ladies. Y'all, y'all think I got to have like 50 niggas in your phone, get a bag out of nigga, go get the money, tap in, eight, eight figure niggas, all about money or whatever. I mean, y'all not be like that. A lot of those women who doing that, those women are hurt. Those women are broken hearted. Uh, a lot of women didn't have their fathers or they had bad relationships with their mothers or they were foster, or they was foster kids. They had foster parents. Some of the women was abused and raped. So we're dealing with a lot of brokenness when we see some of this. And... And, and, and it's just is entertainment. People cannot take seriously what these guys say on social media. Man, we're gonna talk about Kevin saying this high value male shit. Let me see my camera rolling, guys. <laughs> we talk about this this high value male. I I I just don't understand how this high value bullshit. Low high value average guy. You know, with high value. You know, you're part of the. 10%, you know, you can cheat on your woman and, you know, you can dog them out because a woman is, is pleased to be with you because you're in the 10% or 5 whatever percentage it is of society and you think, you know, I can just act like a dog, act like a damn fool because, goddamn it, you know, hey, fuck, I, I, I make money and I can just treat everybody like shit because I'm a high-value man. That ain't nothing but some toxicity, bro. A lot of those women who call Kevin Sanders are delusional, but like they're they're delirious fucking women. Uh, they're out of their minds. They're they're, they're some women who lost hope. They're lonely ass women who call up their 
some bum ass bitches who call up there lonely and they tell Kevin Samuels and they have these high expectations and they're not realistic. Those are women that call. And that's another thing. This high value shit is nothing but egotistical guys, like I just said. This egotistical. Kevin Samuels is an egotistical bastard, bruh. That he's pushing. It's egotistical. Just to say you got money and you're better than somebody, or you know you can cheat on your wife, and then he's in it contradicting himself. All the, he's contradicting his fucking self. He's saying you can cheat on your wife. You have these options. Everybody got options. There's plenty of options out there for everybody. You can buy sex. You can do whatever you want. Everybody got out. He's saying you can have sex with all these women. But he said as long as you're not bringing no outside babies or STDs or disease. You really think that's a possibility that you can do that? Cheat on your wife and maybe not get a bitch pregnant? You know how many people are not here fucking raw? Or whatever? And you're cheating on your wife? How long do you think this can, and can keep up? If that's the case being high value, you know what I'm saying? Why is it Kevin Samuels married? Why, 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 why is it these high billionaires, Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates, are some of the richest people on the fucking planet? They're not married. Money cannot keep a woman. That shit will get boring to a woman. So to say that a high, this high value bullshit or he's ultra alpha, this these are not real men right here, guys. You know, I got to have multiple women on the side if I ain't. You know, you ain't no man. That's bullshit. You can be a high value man working at 10 to 9 bucks an hour or whatever the case may be. High value is your character, how you take care of your family, how you carry yourself. You staying out of jail. You being a good a, a good pro, a model citizen, man. Productive. You know, caring for his family, his church, you know, uh, being a good man to his wife and kids. Being there, man. Being a good person, the character, your morals, your value. He's placing value in fucking money. This is like, you ain't got no money, you're just average. Man, bullshit, man. Don't let nobody rate you or put you or rate you or say you're less than, people. Because this is that bullshit is going to get you fucked up, man. That fucked up mentality you got. Just saying I got money. Those people who feel like they're high value and they can dog everybody and cheer everybody like shit were fucking loser kids and they got they got treated like shit. And they used to get picked on and bullied in high school and elementary school and middle school and the girls ain't want them. So now they grow up and get money and they figure they can get everybody back and just act like a fucking asshole and a complete fucking shit. Like, the, like a complete shit. A complete dickhead and act like that. Man, that's some bullshit, bruh. Never place your value in money, man. Your value comes from your character and how you treat people and your moral and your content. And how you carry yourself as a man or a person, bruh. So if you just think money that is, you's a shallow motherfucker. Or you you have no expectations in life. It, it shows you where, where you is. You feel like money can just buy you happiness type shit. Apparently it can't because billionaires getting divorces. So it really can't. Yeah, man, I know I've been raining and raving right now, but hey, man, y'all like, comment, subscribe, uh, it's video long, hey, man, I, I just had to get this off my mind, just a lot on my mind, y'all like, comment, subscribe, share it, y'all gonna push J Reed TV, I'm out.